Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Keymonda 2 Mobile. This is basically a dock which allows you to use your keyboard and mouse in place of your gamepad. So this is designed for Apple devices, so iPhones, iPads and Apple TVs. And it works with any game that supports a controller. It won't work with touchscreen only games like PUBG. However, games like Apex Legends and Call of Duty Mobile work fine. However, you do still need your gamepad attached. So you're going to need something like a DualShock 4 or an Xbox One or Xbox Series or DualSense controller attached. And this is basically going to allow you to replace your controller with a keyboard and mouse. And this is going to be fairly effective. It's not going to be exactly the same as on PC. It's going to be much better than trying to get used to a controller, which you're not that familiar with. And basically what this does is that it translates the keyboard and mouse movement into controller movement. And it does this to a varying degree of success. So today I want to do is basically show you how this works, how to set this up and also how this works with a game like Apex Legends Mobile and I'll also be testing it with Call of Duty Mobile 2. I want to demonstrate how I basically set the whole thing up and also how I get the key binding to work. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest gaming tutorials. So first things first we're going to go ahead and download the app. What I'm going to do is to go to the App Store and then we're going to do a search for K2 Keymonda. What we want is the K2 Mobile Game Dock app. So I'm going to download this now. Once that's open, I'm going to go ahead and allow this to use Bluetooth. I'm going to do a quick start. So here we're going to set up the hardware. We have our DualShock 4 connected by micro USB into the side port. Xbox One wireless controllers as well as the new Xbox controller and the DualSense controller are meant to be supported as well. As long as you have a USB-A cord connected to the controller, here we're going to press next. Here we've got my keyboard and mouse connected to the correct ports at the back and I've got the power plug here. So I plugged it into a 5 volt 2 amp DC power source and I've also got my mobile stand connected up. Here I'm going to press complete. So now we need to pair up this dock with the phone. So here I'm going to press Alt F2 on my keyboard and here I've got the device coming up. I'm going to press connect and now that's connected. We're going to press next and now I'm going to do a firmware update. So I've already done a firmware update. This might take about 15 minutes if you're doing it for the first time. Here we're going to select this device and press next. Now we need to make sure that both devices are paired up. This includes the dock as well as your wireless controller. So I'm going to go to my settings menu here, go to Bluetooth. We need to make sure that the DualShock 4 is paired. Yeah, hold down the share button and the PlayStation button. And then once we've pressed that, we have the DualShock 4 wireless controller coming up under other devices. We're going to go ahead and pair this. So this DualShock 4 is now paired. I want to plug this back into the device. Here we're going to go back into the KT Mobile. Because we disconnected it, it's disconnected the Bluetooth of here. I'm going to do this again, Alt F2, press connect, next. And because the DualShock 4 is connected, I'm going to press next here. And now this device is basically set up. So at this stage, we can actually go ahead and play a game. So here I'm going to go into firing range. And you can see here that the mouse and the keyboard are already all connected up. And they do basically the same thing as what the controller can do. But this is the time where we should be doing a little bit of tweaking. So under the K2, what I'm going to do is to click the edit profile. And basically I want to make some changes. So for general settings, I'll put this up to 110. For the aim, I would keep it around 25. We'll experiment with this a bit later. Then we're going to change a bit of the mapping as well. What I'd like to be able to do is make this as close as possible to the Windows version of Apex Legends. So for example, the B key, which is the circle key here, is for crouch. However, I don't really like using C, I like to use left control. So the first thing I have to do is to change this to left control. So I'm going to make this an option and set left control. However, that key is set to walk. So the launch key for walk is left control, but I'm just going to remove this binding. Now I'm free to map this key and set it to left control and then press save. Similarly, the Y key for swapping weapons, I'm going to change this to the one, two, and three. So that lets us switch weapons easily. With the left and right stick, I'm going to change the RB button to the middle mouse click. That's the same as the ping button on PC. So the left analog stick is set to left shift. What I like to do is to unset this. And then when I go to sensitivity and walk, I'm going to set the launch key as left shift here. That's the toggle running. And another thing I'm going to do is to create a macro. So I'm going to press Q and F, which is L1 and R1. I'm going to set this to Z. And it's going to set our ultimate. So also, if you want to invert your mouse, as I do, then what you can do is to set invert mouse movement under advanced settings and invert mouse under ADS. So basically you can customize this as you like. I'm trying to get this as close to PC as possible. So when you have a macro, make sure to turn the macro on as well. So now we basically have all of the controls set up and this actually feels very close to what PC would feel like. So for example, I'm gonna do the standard run and then slide and then jump, slide and jump. And this is exactly what it is like on PC. So you need to build up a bit of speed first and then jump and then press the slide button to slide down. And that's all been mapped now to the keyboard correctly. So I can definitely aim down sights with the mouse. Now, obviously this doesn't feel exactly like it does on the PC. It's gonna take some getting used to. 
it's probably a good idea to tweak some of the more advanced settings. I haven't actually done that much tweaking myself on the mouse. That's just because there are lots of advanced options, which I haven't quite figured out yet. So anyway, our key bindings are all there. So if we press one here, it's going to switch weapon. If I press Q, it's going to do our tactical ability. Now with the macro, I'm going to press Z. And then this is allowing us to do our ultimate ability. So this is a combination of Q and the F keys, which is L1 and R1. And that's all macro together as we showed you earlier. This is pretty much working for me. I probably would tweak a little bit of the sensitivity on the mouse. That's just because I think that if you're trying to do something like sniping, it's a little bit oversensitive. Might tweak the aiming sensitivity a little bit just to make it a bit easier for me. However, for now, you might want to actually change some of the more advanced settings. So for example, under general, you might want to get it advanced. You can actually have a tweak of the curve shape. So this is quite important because the mouse is trying to emulate the analog stick and analog sticks built completely differently to a mouse. Mouse has one-to-one -one movement, whereas analog stick will kind of snap back whenever you let go of it. And it has different levels of acceleration depending on how far the joystick is being pushed in one direction. And you can kind of emulate that if you edit the curve shape. So for example, you can change some of these around. However, if you do have one that works well for Apex, then please let me know in the comments. So under the actual K2 app itself, you're able to go to the game section here and you can download various profiles. So there isn't one for Apex Legends yet. However, if you want to play Call of Duty Mobile or a similar game like that, you can go ahead and download the one that's been specifically built for that particular game. And we're going to go ahead and download the Call of Duty Mobile profile. And we're going to enter our username and password if we haven't registered already, which we can do for free. So now that's downloaded, we're going to change profile here and we're going to select our Call of Duty profile. So now that's been added to our device, we're going to go back into Call of Duty and now we're going to play a quick match. So you can see here the mouse is able to control and then we can also play the game as normal. Press R to reload. And press the left cursor key to do our kill streaks. And basically we play as normal with WASD keys, just like we could with Apex Legends. So anyway, this is how you get the key mounted to mobile, working with games like Call of Duty Mobile and Apex Legends Mobile. Whether you think that this setup is worth it is really up to you. It's actually quite an expensive setup in the sense that you need a controller and you need a keyboard and mouse. So at this stage, you might be thinking, well, if I've got a keyboard and mouse on a computer, let's just play the normal Apex Legends or normal Call of Duty there. Or if you've got a controller, you can just go ahead and pair this normally to the actual device and you're probably gonna have an okay experience. It might not be as precise as a keyboard and mouse, but it might be fine for you. The actual performance of the keyboard and mouse is okay. I think it does require a lot of tweaking to get it exactly how you like. It's not going to be quite the same as on PC, especially when you're doing aiming down sights and you're trying to be very precise, but it might just be enough for you. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other YouTube videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.